Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Here is our dilemma. Okay, we are given uh, a table below here. A lot of times we see tables and there's random information on it. So let's see what we're given here. Uh, the table below gives the shipping price for different number of soccer balls. Do the numbers in the table represent a proportional relationship? Aha, here we go. So a proportional relationship. All right, so everything right here, all right, over here. So is this proportional meaning does it would it really cost us the same amount to ship all right one soccer ball versus 10 versus 100 versus a thousand okay so what does that mean well if we can find a unit rate or how much it costs to ship one soccer ball then that should be the same for any number of soccer balls so let's see let's see that in action how can we actually solve this it sounds very complicated uh, good news, gang, it's pretty simple for us to do. We have two variables here if we think about it. Okay, I've got number uh, of soccer balls here on our left-hand side. All right, and then I've got the price, or how much does it cost to ship them? All right, in dollars over here. Good news, when we're doing this, just we just want to figure out, are they proportional? Um, we, can, we can do that. Let's just say I've got two columns in here. I'm going to call my first column my X. Column, uh, my price or the shipping costs, I'm going to say your Y. If we remember, how do we figure out, or what do we do in order to figure out, is something proportional? Well, I have four all right, sets of points here. We could graph these if we wanted to, but we don't have to go that far. We can just look at these numbers as they correlate to each other. And what I mean by that is, let's take our first one here. So with one soccer ball, the shipping costs are $2. Why did I write X and Y over here? We have this nice, fancy formula, all right, Y over X. We are going to use this all the time. Okay, so let's plug in our numbers for that. And what I mean is let's plug them into this fancy formula right here, and it'll spit out a number for us. So in our first one here, so if we've got one soccer ball, well, one is my x. Okay, two, this is my y value. We're going to put these in y over x. In other words, two over one. All right, I'm going to guess that that will equal two, right? This just says two divided by one. It's a sloppy two you're going to have to, have to deal with in here. Let's make it better so we're all happy. There we go, better looking two. Okay, so that equals 2. Okay, well, that's great, but that doesn't tell me anything. I need to calculate that again, okay, for the other ones as well. So I'm going to do this guy over here. We'll do him in a different color. I'm not going to do anything different, though. It's still going to be my Y value over my X value. So my Y value in this case is a 4. My X value, or the number of soccer balls, is a 2. Well, 4 over 2, or 4 divided by 2, you guessed it. All right, so far, so good. Should we stop here? No, we can't stop here just yet. Okay, we have to keep going because we've only done two of the four. And we don't know, right, maybe something weird happens, okay, the further on we go. So, yes, I switched colors once again, but we're still doing the same thing. It's our Y value over our X. Our Y value is 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3. Another 2. Okay, so we're getting uh, pretty happy now because we've got 2, 2, and 2. So our last values, I'm going to do these right over here. So same thing, y over x, so that's a 7 over a 4. 7 divided by 4, ooh, here we hit a snafu. This doesn't work, right? 7 divided by 4, I'm going to say that's 1.75, or for all my fraction friends out there, we could say that's 1 and 3 fourths. Or if you like improper fractions, you could just leave it as 7 fourths. Either way, all three of these things here all right, mean the same thing. But what does this mean? Right? I had a 2 over here, another 2 here, another 2 here. So all three of these were the same. But all of a sudden, right, when we get or when we order or we buy four of these soccer balls, our shipping costs actually it goes down. So is this proportional? Absolutely not. So we would write no not proportional. Why is it not proportional? Well, because our last our last fella right here, this is our table buster, we'll call it. 
all right it does not fit with everything else if this value would have been what number do you think you got it if this number would have been an 8 right then everybody would have been happy because 8 over 4 is 2 okay but it wasn't it was 7 so is it proportional no it is not and that's how we figure out this from a table